Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm John Coxon, independent professional photographer based in Salford in the northwest of England. Here I share my gardening, household and photography tips and the joy of photography and its part enriching my everyday life. Today I'm going to address the topic of uh, shooting, um, photographing wild birds in the garden. Here's my garden, very very small. But they managed to attract a lot of birds. There's been a sharp decline in the wild bird populations in the UK over the last decade, in the main through loss of natural habitats and urban settings, because busy people have been opting for low maintenance, largely plant free tidy gardens which are not conducive to wildlife or the insects birds naturally feed on. I live in an urban setting where there are a few houses with gardens, and my own modest terrace house formerly had a rather barren backyard of mere 30 feet or so by uh, 15 feet wide. I spent 10 years making my own small garden bird friendly with small trees growing from seed and a big buddleia shrub, both now about 15 feet high and providing plenty of safe cover. Two doors away, my good neighbour, a four closely spaced dense foliage conifer for trees some 20 feet high, now home to a community of I'd estimate 50 plus tree sparrows, most of whom take advantage of the food I put out. As a result of these efforts, wild birds, tree sparrows, tits, black blackbirds, starlings are now all regular visitors. In fact, a few have taken residence in the nest boxes I've made or nesting nearby to take full advantage all the year round for fresh bird food, mainly mixed seed and fat balls I put down and all the, and the all important clean water for drinking and bathing. If you're into photography and want to photograph wild birds, your own garden is a great starting point and there's much you can do to attract them. Wild birds are constantly looking for food and water, and if you provide it, that will take you halfway to attracting them and keeping them coming back. And the bonus is you're helping to restore wild bird populations. But don't be fooled into thinking you can simply hang bird feeders near your windows or place a bird table in the middle of your lawn. Small birds are constantly on the lookout for danger and always a tad twitchy and nervous. So the food you put down needs to be close to the cover of hedges, shrubs and trees, which provide them with some sense of security and a place to escape to if they feel under threat. Make sure most feeders are high up so they are out of reach of predatory pet cats. Unless you've got specialist equipment like a digiscope, essentially a telescope you can fit your camera with special adapters on your digital camera or a mega costly long zoom lens, you'll be surprised just how close physically you actually need to get to shoot small birds and to get decent shots of them. You need really to try and fill the frame. Yes, you can crop shots to make the bird fill more of the frame, but it's always going to be at the expense of quality to some extent. I sat happily for hours watching and photographing visiting birds, usually quietly sitting on my garden bench some 12 feet or less away from the feeding stations I've set up, but occasionally will stand up with my camera raised and move quietly nearer to within six or eight feet away when they're occupied eating, of course avoiding any sudden movement. Tree sparrows, photos of which fill this gallery, are one of my favourite visitors. Very sociable and bold birds, generally not too phased by humans close by. I tend to use my 70 to 200 mil zoom lens handheld for all my bird photography. Because all little birds are so fidgety, I shoot them almost exclusively on my DSLR using shutter priority mode, opting for the fastest shutter speed I can muster in the available light, and that way you're most likely to get them sharply in focus, but also freeze their beautiful wings if they move suddenly. If you've got a compact uh, digi camera with an optical zoom, be sure to set it to action or sports mode to get the fastest shutter speed you need for wild birds. There's some birds on the feeder and never tire of watching them, uh, young and old. This is a fairly young one. Beautiful little creatures. Sometimes I'm waiting for them to move to get shots of their wings in flight, which I find beautiful. Here's a little one. Um, Carrying some nesting material. All this is in there waiting to, to take turns on the bird feeder. Another youngster.
when you're uh, focusing on birds that are still, try and catch the little, little white of their eyes. If you focus on that, the rest of the bird is likely to be in focus. This is what happens when they move. Beautiful wing patterns, the symmetry is astonishing. Here's one at my bird bath, taking a drink. Sometimes I have the pleasure of watching them, photographing them, actually having a bath. It's actually quite funny. I love how sparrows take it in turns to drink, drink from the uh, bird bath. These are youngsters born quite close in the trees nearby that keep coming to us. You can tell they're really young birds because they constantly fidget and flap their wings and fluff them up. This one let me, re let me get really close. This one I rescued from my greenhouse, flying around, injuring itself. I merely caught it and couldn't uh, miss the opportunity to get a close-up photograph of it. And again, the beauty of these birds' wings astonishes me. Why not check out my John Coxon photography blog, where I've got more detail and several articles of bird photography tips, but also detailed advice about how to make your garden more attractive. You might also like to check out my Flickr here, with thousands of examples of my photographs covering birds and animals, a whole range of other subjects. I'm also very active on Facebook and Twitter, sharing original ideas, photos and tips. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed these photos and come back soon to my John Cox and Media channel, where I'll soon be sharing further wild bird galleries from my extensive archive. Uh, you can also check out my website, which shows details of my 